Hi, this is Jeannie, and this is the third episode of So You Think You Can Write. So the uh, topic for this podcast or episode is procrastination. As a writer, I think it's what is the number one problem or issue for writers is procrastination. And um, I always been a procrastinator I would do things at the last minute and sometimes I would do something like I would write like I actually wrote a book a few years ago um, I wrote like maybe 30 to 50 percent of the book and then I just didn't finish it I just procrastinated and then the book the idea and the momentum just disappeared so what is procrastination procrastination is not doing something you want to do something but you always like have excuses not to do something like especially as writers you have excuses like oh i'm too busy at work or i can't i work full time or i can't do it um so procrastination can be caused by many different things so one of the reasons is um, lack of a focus, lack of a plan, being vague about your plan, being a perfectionist, lack of motivation, fear of failure, lack of discipline, being stressed out and overwhelmed at work or in daily life, having low energy, being tired, not having enough energy, not making the time, lack of perseverance, and lack of focus on the end goal. So there's really a lot of reasons for procrastinating and whatever your reason is, there's just one thing you have to deal with and that's procrastination. So how did I deal with my, my procrastination? I was like the worst procrastinator. It would literally take me years to work on a project and I would just abandon it because like I would just procrastinate and procrastinate and eventually like the motivation dies down and the focus dies down and it's just like I can't I can't finish what I started so that's uh, a big problem with people who procrastinate so what I did um, this year I really I didn't specifically target not to procrastinate but by chance I happened to encounter a book coach so she's a writer and she does she writes for a living and that's her bread and butter and she has this um, course and I'm gonna link to it because I'm an affiliate and I'm a student and then it really helped me because it made me motivated like she really motivated me to write my book and she just told me all the reasons why I should make my book and so she she taught me there's actually a course and it's online so everything is there all the things that um can help you launch a self-published book it's all there it's in the the course and i'm gonna link to it so you can see it on the the notes the show notes when after you listen to this podcast so Another thing that I did is I also joined an e-group for writers. So there's also an e-group that comes with this course for making money with e-books. And there's, uh, I also joined other groups as well just to be motivated, you know, to just be in that same frequency as the people who are writing books. And one thing that I must say that maybe really made a huge impact on my procrastination because um, even with a book coach, like I was actually procrastinating on when to enroll on the make money with ebooks course. So I was procrastinating with that even. So what I did was that also by happen uh, by happenstance, I encountered my life coaches. There's two of them. There are a couple, and I can also link to their website because they're really unique in their approach. And so I don't know if you're into new agey thing or energy work or something, but I must say I've been like a chronic procrastinator. And after I worked with them for a couple of 
weeks and months, I just noticed that I was producing a lot of work. Like I was making podcasts, writing. I just finished my book and I'm writing another book and I'm writing a book after that. It's just, um, it's because they balanced me for my chakras. So they work on your goal if you have a specific goal. So they work on balancing, uh, balancing your chakras and then just, they really work with you and in the conversations they, they interact with you and provide solutions. So you have to do your assignment and stuff like that. And it's really unique and I suggest you can try them out. I think they have free sessions if they're the right life coaches for you. And they're really, really like reasonable too. Their rates are reasonable. And I have worked with other life coaches before and it just didn't pan out. And they were like charging hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. And at the end of that, I wasn't able to accomplish anything much because it was like they were not working on me one-on-one. -on -one. They were working on me with like their own ideas of how I should work on my goals so they really didn't respect my goal and my end goal in mind so i really didn't enjoy that and yeah so i'll link to that i'll link to their website and then you can work with them as well so that for me i think really made a huge change just working with the life coaches and clearing my chakras I also maybe in sometime in 2017 I also did like subconscious work and but it never really did anything with regards to helping me with my procrastination but it did program me um, I worked with a side K facilitator I do it as well now like I learned how to do it but someone actually like worked with me on adding subconscious beliefs it's like hypnosis but it's a different process than hypnosis so someone actually facilitates and um, you implant like subconscious beliefs and what I did was that I wanted to start working on my projects so that's what I did but that was in 2017 and nothing really happened until I worked with my life coaches so I guess the programming the subconscious beliefs were programmed but it was actually working with the life coaches that allowed the uh, energetic blocks to be removed. So again, if you're not open-minded, you might not want to try out Psy-K. And um, you can email me, home of, home of genie at gmail.com, because I also do it. And um, if you're not open to chakra clearing and stuff like that, you might not also be open to working with my life coaches. But if you are, and if you're listening to this, just look at the link and um, I'll provide the link to all of the things I mentioned. And um, they're just amazing. I mean, literally years and years and years and years I've been working on projects, would do them, abandon them, or would not even start them at all. But after working with them, I think just starting this year and like in six months, I was able to produce or finish my book. And now I'm like finishing another book and I'm making my projects and stuff. And I work full time. I literally work full time. I don't even know how I have the energy to do all of this and how I'm just this motivated. It's, I feel like energetic flow, which I never felt before because it is possible even if you work full time and that's what I'm doing right now. I literally work from actually eight to five and sometimes even more, but for me to be able to finish a book and write at night and just do things, that's just amazing. That means that my procrastination is out of the window. I'm literally not procrastinating right now. So another thing that really worked for me is just creating the time for writing. So I usually write and I block that time, literally Mondays and Tuesdays, I will just write, 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 write. And that's all I would do Mondays and Tuesday nights. So I would cancel all engagements and like social engagements or like going out. So I would just sacrifice Monday and Tuesday. And that has worked so far, I've been working. And then, but now since I have a deadline, I have to edit my book. I work now almost every night, but maybe just one or two hours. So 
you can do, you can write a book in just working full time, having or working on it for one to two hours. So it doesn't matter. Just create the time. Just create that time for writing. Just create it, like put it in your calendar. And that is one of my recipes for overcoming my procrastination. And I hope this really helps. And This has been So You Think You Can Write, a podcast for aspiring self-published authors or writers that want to finish their book and publish it online, either through Amazon or other avenues. So this is a resource for you, and I'm also starting out, so you're going to go on a journey with me as well. And um, thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye.